15 to 28 days after an infection with COVID-19, the natural immunity, the immunoglobulins come to a maximum for that infection. Although it is true that after an infection, your chances of getting COVID-19 are quite low. But how protected you are largely depends on the severity of infection that you had when you were ill. Comparing someone who have just had an asymptomatic to a mild infection would have an antibody response that would be quite negligible. Compare that with someone who had moderate to severe kind of COVID-19 infection, their immunoglobulins and their protection is quite extended up to 28 to almost two months. Now, taking the consideration of the antibody titers, let us look at some of the numbers. After an infection, the average titer of the antibodies comes to 13,000 AU per ml. Now, let us compare that to the statistics that we have after a Covishield vaccine, that is 28 days later after the first dose. Your average antibody titers come to 7,000. So, to, in order to boost the 7,000 to 20,000, 30,000 or 40,000, you'd have to wait for at least 6 to 8 weeks and take the second shot. That's when you have considerable amount of protection and the efficacy that we speak that actually depends on the antibody titers. Recent studies have shown us that it is also dependent on something called a cellular immunity. Cellular immunity meaning that there are certain specialized cells which remember an infection even after the antibodies are down. Now on a subsequent exposure to the virus, the cells recognize this virus and create some instant antibodies and destroy it. So not just the antibody titers, but it is also the cells that give us protection. So that seems to be the real key to long-term protection. We'll have to wait and watch how the vaccines are affecting our cellular immunity and providing us long-term protection.